On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, limitations of the stage display in ProPresenter 5. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I guide you through using some software for the church. Mostly it's ProPresenter, but uh, I often take detours down other roads as well. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and I'm your host. And I'd love for you to join the conversation, so just leave a comment below the video. Unless you're subscribed on the podcast, then head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact or hit me up on Twitter, Paul Allen Cliff, P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F. So, the stage display can't do everything that you might want it to do. So, let's head on over to ProPresenter 5 and I'll show you what I mean. So, the stage display is a little different. You might know that it normally has something totally different on it than what you would see on the main display. So here, let's go into Preferences, and we will configure the stage display. And you'll see that I've got more than one configuration up here. Uh, let's go with the music one, because that's going to be more similar to what most people are going to do. And while you would not do this normally, since I'm doing this with a screen capture program, I'm going to put the stage display over this main display. So the shortcut to turn on the stage display is Command-2. I could also uh, go up into the preferences and do that, but I'm just going to do Command-2 because it's nice and simple. So we see here that we have the stage display in a more normal configuration. As I press the space bar, we go through this, no problems whatsoever. But if I go to number one here, you'll notice that you can actually still see an image there. That's my logo. It's a little mushed just because I was just looking for something to put in here, quite frankly, and that was the first image I found. But you'll notice that that logo is there. That's set to a background. So what you would normally expect to see happen is that as soon as you switch to the next slide, these words would show up on top of this slide with this background. But what, watch what happens when you do that. You'll notice the background disappears. Now what's not immediately apparent is what would happen if instead of a still background I had a moving back background. So let me go over and I've put this down here. This is just a copy of some of my work for um, moving backgrounds and you'll see that this is moving. This isn't really meant to be beautiful. It's just meant to show some different ideas of what I have for some ProPresenter backgrounds but you'll notice that's changing. Now, if we go back to the stage display, wait, that's still on loop number one. What you might also notice is that there are lyrics over top of it, but the background is not changing. It's almost as if it's the first frame or just a thumbnail of what is in the background. You'll also notice when I hit the space bar what happens here. So it goes on removing the background and putting this here. Now, of course, we can get rid of the background altogether so that it doesn't show up here by going into Preferences, Configure Stage Display, and checking the 
text only checkbox. You'll notice that I had unchecked it. If I check it, it basically shows up the thumbnail, and if I uncheck it, it's text only. So that's important for you to know that you aren't going to be showing a video on the stage display. Even if you go with one of these larger stage displays. Um, so I have the current slide with the text only box unchecked. So it is showing the entire thing, but remember this is just the thumbnail. So this video isn't actually working. It's not going to show what's going on on the main screen. So that is a bit of a problem for some people. So let's talk about some strategies to overcome this. So if we get out of this and make the stage display go away altogether. Yeah, there we go. Now you can see that it's working faster because it's not like hiding underneath there or something like that. Let me go ahead and kill the background here. Well, there are a couple of things that you can do. You could either do something even as simple as an HDMI switch. If you're running the stage display over HDMI, you could do it with a VGA or DVI switch where you have two signals. One that is a copy of the main screen and one that's the stage display. And then you have it doesn't have to be pretty because it, it's only the people on stage that are seeing this. So it might make a visual glitch and it might be out of sync for a second. So you could just switch between those using something basically like a KVM, a keyboard video um, mouse switcher. You could do something like that. Probably a little bit better way to do this. Uh, you could also, if you had auxes out on a video switcher, you could do that as well, which that would be an even prettier way to do it. But an easier way to do this that you don't have to think about is to put two monitors side by side, or you could even do like picture in picture, I suppose, and have what's on the back display all the time on one, and then the other be the stage display and have them side by side or one above the other, something like that. And that way you're going to get probably the maximum utility because when the pastor or the band needs to see what's on the back screen, they don't have to turn around to do so. They can still look forward. But when they need to see what's coming up next they can look on the other screen. And that's not a super cheap way to do it, but it is, you know, with flat screen TVs being fairly inexpensive, if that's what you're using, for a couple of hundred bucks, you could do that way of doing it. So that's probably what I would recommend. If you wanted to show video, you can either switch between the main screen and the stage display on this confidence monitor or you can put two monitors side by side or two projector images or what have you side by side or one above the other and that will help solve that problem but remember the stage display is primarily for lyrics this uh, what it does with showing images like this one and e we can even do this with a foreground image so if I had this as a foreground image and I did command to to display it here let's select that again so you'll see that even as a foreground image that would show up but it's not going to show you the video so the best way to do this is with one of these other strategies. And so it's 
okay to do this for the purposes of sermon notes where maybe a still would be helpful to see or something like that but if someone needs to see a video not helpful at all so I hope that that's something that you can keep in mind as you're designing your system and as you're using your system with ProPresenter 5. Well I hope that helped you I hope that that keeps you from knocking your head against the wall for hours trying to make it do something that it can't or it keeps you from promising something that the stage display really can't deliver. And I hope that any alternate solutions that uh, I've given you are helpful to get around that problem. If you like this content, I think you'll like my newsletter. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and I've got a free gift for you, five pro presenter tricks that most churches are not using. And you can sign up, get that, just give me an email address so that I can send it to you. And I'll also give you a free subscription to my weekly newsletter, including uh, you can get things like uh, the top five videos that I did in 2014, hint. And they were all pro presenter. So go ahead and sign up for that. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.